Hey everybody, welcome to Rock and Pop Vinyls, and I want to wish you all a very happy Easter for our episode 16 here. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and relaxed and chill and visiting with their families on this Sunday. Um, I'm getting ready to eat in a little while and get some grub on, but anyway, here is episode 16. So we're now moving on to the bees in the vinyls. Uh, last week we finished up Avenged Sevenfold, the stage, great record, um, can't say enough about it, still easily one of my favorite records in their library, but it is time to move on, and we are on to the bees, which brings up Black Country Communion 4, and the reason we're, you're probably wondering why are we jumping ahead to record number 4 is albums 1 and 2 I do not own on vinyl. I do own them on CD and digital format. I do own the third record, which is Afterglow, but if you recall, and probably you don't, because this is back in episode two, way back when I was starting, I really wasn't sure what kind of format I was doing and what kind of content I was going to share. I wasn't really sure if I was going to introduce vinyl records or not. And as an experiment with episode two, I did actually play Black Country Communion Afterglow, the third record. Fantastic record came out in 2012. Unfortunately, with this record, this would also be at the time the end of Black Country Communion. Uh, Joe Bonamassa decided he wanted to move on from this. I'm sure there was some kind of infighting due to things I've read years later. Um, but anyway, the the band did break up. Um, Glenn Hughes went on to form a band called California Breed with drummer Jason Bonham and I want to, I believe his name was Andrew Watt on guitar. Uh, Derek Sherinian actually joined Joe Bonamassa on his touring band and that went on for a few years. Uh, in 2016 Glenn Hughes and Joe Bonamassa had a reconciliation therefore they decided it was time to reform Black Country, reform Black Country Communion which is just fantastic for us fans and the birth from that is our Black Country 4. Um, up until this point, albums 1 and 2 were her fantastic. The first record came out in 2010 with an immediate follow-up in 2011 and this album in 2012. They wasted no time and they began uh, more, more touring in Europe, very popular over there, and I'm sure that had a lot to do with uh, Glenn Hughes and Jason Bonham. Um, but anyway, this was my favorite record so far up until now. This is now my new one, Nothing Against Afterglow, fantastic record. But this record just really brings that blues rock to the forefront. You can just hear the talent in, um, not necessarily in the Bonamassa. Bonamassa is an amazing guitarist. He's probably the best in the industry right now at, when it comes to blues guitar. Um, but he's also considerably younger than the rest of his uh, mates on this um, in this band and on this uh, endeavor, uh, you can hear this Glenn Hughes. There's just what's there to say about Glenn Hughes? I mean, he's just an amazing bass player. He's been around forever. He's an amazing uh, musician, writer. He's a he's the epitome of a front man, and it really shows up on this record. Uh, Jason Bonham has always been a solid drummer. I mean, a lot of his fame, people are saying, ah, oh, he just lives off his dad's fame. His dad, of course, being John Bonham, uh, the late John Bonham from Led Zeppelin. I think that's a bunch of hogwash. I think he stands on his own, and he can play with literally anybody. And Derek Sherinian is just fantastic on keys. I'm really not a big keys person. Um, I I've played in many bands in my life, and um, I can really do without them. But I've not played in bands that have, you know, used them. So I guess I have no real background with it. But it's not, a, in general, not very appealing to my ear. But he is phenomenal. He just is. And, I mean, of course, he's famous from his days with Dream Theater, his background with Mike Portnoy. And uh, he just brings that to uh, these four albums as well. Um, this is not a disappointing album by any stretch of the imagination. It's fantastic. I'm so glad they put this out. I really don't know if they're going to do another one. Um, they are. That's how busy all the guys in this band really are. Matter of fact, I was just watching a video the other day in uh, California with the. I want. I'm not sure if it was Metal Alliance, 
um, that was going on near San Francisco, but Bonham was out there playing with people, and um, he's just constantly doing stuff. Sherinian's constantly busy, and Joe Bonamassa's constantly on tour. So um, even Glenn Hughes himself, he is always busy. So hopefully we'll get another Black Country album here in the future. Not sure, but with that said, we can live in the now, and we're going to go ahead and without further ado, bring up Black Country Communion 4. I've already got us queued up and ready to rock and roll. And like I said, this is more of a um, blues rock. So um, I've been on the metal kick. It's kind of hard not to do going to A's, coming off Anthrax, and then I've been sevenfold. But uh, I'm kind of in the moods for some blues now. I got my computer out here because I was actually doing some price checking on some pops. So anyway. All right. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and go into the wild. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna stop into Walmart today. I'm looking for strictly action figures and possibly the Funko Ronin Pop. So, uh, wish me luck. Now I'm at Walmart, but check these out. These are in clearance right now, nine bucks. That Black Manta is coming home with me for nine dollars. That's fantastic. And then they also have Aquaman. These are all on clearance for $9. I'm even tempted on picking up Orm as well. But yeah, 9 bucks. Can't beat that. Those are coming home with me for sure. Alright, let's see what kind of legends they have here. I have pretty much all these. These are kind of cool. $5 on clearance. Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Hmm. Oh man, they got a lot of clearance ones. Look at this guy. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh man. And check out these uh, Incredibles. All these guys are on clearance right now. This big ones for five bucks. I'm not really into those figures, but they got some good sales. I'm definitely picking up the Aquaman for sure, and uh, the Black Manta, no doubt about that. All right, that's probably gonna do it for me here at Walmart today, but yeah, going home with those two. Hey guys, welcome back to our Into the Wild. So Into the Wild this week took on um, kind of a different monster, really. I really was not out there looking for anything this week. There really wasn't anything coming out in the Funko arena that I was even after. Um, I'm expecting some stuff to come out this next following weekend. Um, I am looking for the 10 inch Thanos, which is going to be coming out Target exclusive. That's supposed to be out on the 26th, the actual day of the release of the movie, and I'm so excited. Going to go see the movie this weekend. I already pre-bought my tickets. I'm already ready. So anyway, and hopefully I'll give a little bit of a review of that. Maybe the following week after everyone's had an entire uh, week to see the movie with no spoilers, of course. But I'm very, very excited. But anyway, I was still out and about nonetheless. And this Out in the Wild took on a whole new... Um, kind of premise I wasn't really looking for pops like I said I mean I, I look I always do but I just found a whole bunch of gems this week um, mainly and it mixes from mainly action figures remember I, I think I only bought one pop this week and um, the pop that I did buy I found this uh, Walmart exclusive Dumbo um, I have the other two Dumbos it's mainly why I bought this I of course I mean I love Disney pops in general but I Two reasons I bought this. It was, a tar it was a Walmart exclusive. And look at the condition of this. If you know how, what it's like shopping at Walmart to get a condition pop like that, and it being one of their exclusives, and the only difference between this, this is a Dreamland Dumbo, 
is the Dreamland Dumbo that I bought at Hot Topic has a blue headgear and this one has red. That is the only difference. But I do like the exclusives and this will complete the Dumbo uh, collection. Like I said, there was only three. There was a box set you can get at uh, Hot Topic as well, but it was exactly the same pop in that box, which was the red Dreamland. But anyway, and of course, you know, Walmart's prices on pops are great. They're like eight seventy-eight. Like you know, the, you know how they do their prices on that. Um, but um, I was just shocked that it was in this great condition. Um, I actually spent a lot of time at Walmart this week um, because I kept on finding deals. Um, one of the cool deals I found is they had they were selling a bunch of their Incredible Two Jacks Pacific figures for um, five bucks but I lucked out I waited a couple days and I went back to Walmart and the Walmart that I visited close to my work when I was getting off and they put them up for sale for two dollars I'm not joking these were two dollars I could not pass them up I mean even if I don't keep them in my collection this could be you know birthday presents down the road or something for Taylor to play with and she'll be here later on today we do have a mystery box but um, anyway like I said two dollars so here we got Frozone, and look at the packaging on this. This is completely fine. There's no flawless. There's no scuff marks. There's no nothing. This was two dollars, and then I ended up getting Jack, Jack, and Raccoon. Again, I paid two dollars for these. Um, and it was a no-brainer. I mean, I don't know if they're going to even hold any value down the road. They probably won't. But at this price point. It's it's Nolan boy. It really is. Uh, and then of course, and the prices didn't change regardless of size of packaging. They really were just trying to move them. I ended up getting Mr. Incredible. This was two dollars. Can't fault me on it. So, and I think they're really fun. Um, I I again I love my Disney, and uh, this will go great with my action figures that I already have. And it was just an awesome pickup. But I wasn't done yet. At that same Walmart, they were selling, uh, they had the same size figures of the Titan Hero series for uh, Avengers Infinity War, and they knocked these down to $4 a piece. I got Thor. And if you remember a couple weeks ago, I uh, was eyeballing a um, Captain America one at Target that was about 7 bucks, 8 bucks, something like that. Well, I ended up finding him at Walmart, clearance, $4, right there, can't beat it, 4 bucks. So, these are really, really fun, and, oh, we're not done, we're not done. So, with the, uh, Out in the Wild, this will be the last one for Out in the Wild this week, but we end up getting Iron Man as well, $4. So, my entire table here, there we got 4, 8, 12. 10, 12, 14 dollars for all these figures out the door. Love it. And then of course, don't forget Dumbo back here. He was about nine dollars. So 23 dollars and I walked out with six figures and an exclusive Dumbo Pop from Walmart. Everything on this table is in pristine condition, has not been kicked in or nothing. So that to me is a win and it's a win for me in my action figure department. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so with that said, that is our Out in the Wild this week. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and segue into our uh, Go Figure. All right, I'll be right back after I get this all cleaned up and I'll see you in a minute. Go figure. So, go figure this week is a kind of a mixed bag, but I had a lot of luck. We're going to start off first with uh, my trip to Target. I only bought one item from Target, and uh, it was actually on sale with my uh, red card, and it ended up coming out to, I mean, of course, you know, I'm big on the Legends right now, um, and I ended up getting this Captain Marvel Star Force 
for $17.99, but that of course is because I had my Target red card. So I mean, these these pick these uh, figures are still up there, and um, I'm not really. I mean, I have to really, really want it to buy it right then and there at the price point of $19.95. Walmart's a little better on the prices for these. They're, they charge, they, they, there's, yeah, I got tongue tied there, sorry about that. They charge $18.84 for theirs, but Walmart, um, with their legends, they usually are in really bad shape. And uh, there was no exception this week. I looked through all of them, they are in really bad shape. This one was phenomenal, but I lucked out. The uh, gentleman working in the toy area that day literally pulled her right out of the box. I took one look. There was no scuffs on the uh, window um, display, no bends, nothing in perfect shape. And this one's really fun. It, it has uh, two interchangeable heads and hands. Um, it's got a lot going on for it, and I really dig it. So I ended up picking up her for, like I said, $17.99 with my uh, red card. Then I went to that same Walmart where I got the uh, Incredibles figures on sale. They had a sale on their Aquaman figures that were made and these are phenomenal in great shape. I ended up getting these for, now I'm kind of bummed, I paid $9. Now you're wondering why I'm bummed, only because these are at a price point of $19.95. Here you can see it's Black Manta great shape awesome looking figure but these are like I said the price point on these are $19.95 um, very close to the legends and these were on clearance for nine bucks I was stoked I had to buy it right then and there and, and not only did I get Black Manta I ended up getting Aquaman as well perfect condition only nine dollars I mean why would you I mean fantastic 18 bucks for both of them well, the reason why I say I'm kind of bummed is I ended up going into that same Walmart three days later and these were marked down to $4. Of course, none of them were left. There was two more I wanted to get. I wanted to end up getting uh, um, Mira and um, who else was it? Orem, I believe. And uh, if you get all four of them and get the pieces to make this cool trench warrior right here. Um, so I missed out on getting the other two figures, uh, but I will check other locations hopefully to see if um, I can find those. But anyway, even at nine dollars, that was a fan is a, I mean a fantastic find, and these are awesome looking figures. I love the head sculpts on these, and um, you know that was a great find this week. And then my last one, um, I was shopping on uh, eBay, and I've also talked about eBay and also offer up. Um, I had a few deals lined up this week that I actually haven't finished yet. I'm actually, I actually have a deal going on tonight with a gentleman. We're meeting up at a neutral uh, area where I'm picking up a couple figures. But I ended up buying this figure on eBay, this Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider. He's in great shape. I ended up, um, I didn't get much of a break on him, but I really wanted him. So um, I ended up getting him with shipping came to about $18. Um, you figure if I was in the store, it'd be $19.95 with give or take taxes, $22 out the door, you know, no taxes on eBay, and it was free shipping, so $18. I was okay with that because this is a really sharp looking figure. Um, I love everything about it. It's really, really cool. And um, I'm not really collecting this line yet, but this line ends up, if you get all the uh, Actually, it's a big line. This one's seven. This one will form a Thanos figure right here. And a lot of these actually are, um, actually, yeah, the majority of these you can't really find. Um, the only one you can really find is Marvel Songbird right there. The rest have not been on the market. So I may have to go onto eBay and dig deep or offer up and dig deep to complete this series. But um, like I said, 18 bucks. Um, I was more than willing to pay that because I just really think this is a sharp looking figure. So anyway, that was my uh, gold figure for the week. Like I said, um, couldn't beat this. So if you guys are out and about, go to your Walmarts and see if they have these. Pick these up. These, these were, I mean, like I said, they were $9 at the beginning of the week. And by Friday, they were knocked down to $4. And you just cannot beat that. So 
Anyway, that's go cool figure, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, and we have a mail call coming right up. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to Mail Call. So, uh, my mail call is not super big this week. Um, I did a little shopping on eBay, so I have a package here from a gentleman. Um, I decided to, uh, well, not decided, I, I do this all the time actually. I go back and I try to acquire action figures that I didn't get the first run. And uh, lately, I've been feeling with uh, been in the mood for a lot of Batman lately. With it, I think a lot of it has to do with it being the 80 years of Batman. And there was a, just a lot of figures over the years that I mi unfortunately missed. Um, they, I had a heyday there for a while. For a while. I want to say between 1995 all the way up to probably 2010, where I didn't miss anything on the market. Then I kind of faltered off a little bit. So in that time frame of, you know, darn near nine years, there were a lot of figures that I saw that I didn't acquire, and uh, I'm going back to slowly pick them off. So I'm going on to places like eBay, Big Bad Toys, um, many other action figure outlets to uh, acquire the ones that I really wanted. I've been going to a lot of um, toy shops, mom and pop shops, to see if they have anything you know, any retro stuff, and a lot of them do. Um, of course, with that said, um, I end up finding a lot in really bad shape, so it's really a gamble. So the price has to be right for me. Um, so uh, here, I have a Batman figure from, um, I want to say, I want, eh, was it? I'm trying to think if it was um, Batman Begins. No, this is from The Dark Knight. And um, there were a lot of figures from both series that I wanted, but the Dark Knight, of course, with uh, Heath Ledger was very attractive to me. But there was very few in there. Um, some, a lot of times when they release an action figure for a movie, um, and I always found this to be the downfall of action figures based on movies, is they end up trying to make figures in different um, scenarios that had nothing to do with the movie. So, for instance, uh, let's say Batman Begins, uh, the, the first movie in Nolan's amazing trilogy, is very grounded films. They're very down-to-earth, almost realistic. It's like uh, taking almost like mafia stories and just in, implanting Batman into them. Um, you're not going to get Batman in a flamboyant suit and purples and greens and he can scuba dive. You're not going to get any of that. But when the action figure lines come out, for some reason, Kenner or whoever is putting a line out, Hasbro, Mattel, they decide, hey, we want scuba gear, Christian Bale. I'm not going to buy that, pop, I mean, not pop, sorry, that figure. It's just not going to happen. If it didn't happen in the movie, it shouldn't be transferred over into the toy line, period. So with that said, um, there's a couple figures that I do want from that series, and this is the first one. This one should be um, the Chase Batman, where it's uh, Batman without his mask on. I also ordered the Joker from the series. I just haven't received it yet. Um, but anyway, so this was through eBay, so uh, the package looks a little, you know, but let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and hope here. Uh, let's see. Well, it's taped really well, that's for sure. Didn't want me getting into it, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so, like I said, a lot of times in these movies, they'll, um, the movie lines, the toy company will take their little civil liberties and make things happen that didn't happen in the movie at all. Those are worthless figures. They always will be. They will carry no value into the future. They will probably be worth two bucks at best. It could be 20 years down the line. That figure will be worth two dollars. There's no value to it. Um, but the ones that are more true to the actual movie pretty much hold value pretty well. So, okay, we got a lot of newspaper, so that's cool. Uh, we got some bubble wrap. All right, and we got our figure. All right. 
crossing our fingers here. So far, so good. And, uh, you know, it's got a little wear on the back, which I'm expecting a figure that's carded, uh, especially for a figure that came out in uh, 08. Um, but this is, looks really good shape. So this is our uh, Chase Batman figure, Christian Bale from The Dark Knight. And I don't know how well you can see that. I'll try to get that there for you. Looks, that head scope is pretty, uh, pretty darn accurate. And actually that figure entirely is awesome. I didn't, you know, I don't recall uh, seeing all this detail in the bat armor. Uh, when I looked at it before back and I mean I looked at this in 2008 when it came out But this is a this is a sharp figure. I'm excited now because I actually am getting the Joker uh, Version of this line with this little evidence sticker here matter of fact He's right here on the back. I'd love to get this one, too I haven't seen him where he's in the bank robber. This is you know, I'm actually really excited about this um I didn't pay a lot for this. I think I paid about eight dollars, and um, it was it was an eight dollars that I really wanted to spend. I really wanted this when it came out, but at the time um, I kind of fell out of collecting for a little bit, um, mainly for financial restraints. Really, I was going through a little bit of a thing back in 2008. Of course, I've recovered, as you can tell behind me. Um, this is a sharp figure. I'm really excited about this. Can't wait to display this in my room. Um, and get that on the wall and I do have the Joker coming in so I will have the Joker probably uh, As early as tomorrow. So that's gonna be a fun video. Um, this is an awesome looking figure. All right Good for me from the, that was from eBay um, I bit the bullet remember last week when I was talking about uh, getting that email from Amazon about releasing the two uh, smugglers bounty boxes of Star Wars and I I love the one that I opened that had Lando Calrissian and the skip guard and it had the uh, miniature uh, job of the hut. That was a fun box. Um, so I went ahead and I, I ended up getting that and I also love the little Bubba Fett uh, luggage tag that came with it. I really wanted the other box which has the Han Solo and Carbonite with Bubba Fett but they wanted 40 bucks. The, the Bubba Fett Han Solo um, figure itself is worth 50 on the PPG and that's actually holding up. I checked that up uh, Matter of fact, I'm looking at it right now. It's holding up at $50 right now on the PPG and the Funko app and uh, I just didn't like the box for its overall value. It only came with two items. It comes with a uh, Lando Calrissian luggage tag and I There's something else little in there. But anyway, I still bit the bullet. I decided to go ahead and get it So here it is so, uh, matter of fact, I haven't even opened it yet. It still has the um, plastic wrap on it. Um, had a busy week. Didn't really get to check out a lot of the things that I uh, ended up getting. I actually reserved pretty much a lot of this for these episodes because it's just great content. It's great fun just to open these things. Even uh, you want to get a bad mystery box, which I'm, I am no good at these mystery boxes, but that's probably going to change in the next week or so here because I have a couple of mystery boxes coming in from um, another channel on here. I don't know if you guys watch um, Popcorn and Flicks, but I have I know for a fact I have two. I have one that I purchased um, when they first started selling their mystery boxes. I have one that I won on a waffle. And uh, they, from what I, they said on their site, that they're going to start shipping around the 22nd. So I'm going to uh, do an opening of those boxes when they on uh, the next episode, or if not, episode uh, 17 or 18. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to our smuggler's bounty. And like I said, this item, this box only has three items in it, and, and exactly what it says is it has a uh, mystery mini Chewbacca with C-3PO disassembled on his back. It's actually a really cool mini. I just, for the price, I, I kind of want the box to, I, I've been spoiled. I mean, Fun ever, Funko used to just pack these things all the time. And it just seems like once they started doing their distribution through Amazon, that uh, some get really skimpy. And of course, um, I'm not the only one, but when we saw the Marvel, Captain Marvel box that just came out, that was amazing. I mean, 
we got spoiled with that one, but that's what we were used to, and that is hands down one of the best boxes I have seen bar none. It is fantastic. I mean, I'm so excited for the uh, Avengers Endgame box now, but I know I'm preparing for a letdown. All right, here we got our Lando Calrissian. It wasn't a luggage tag. I said it was a luggage tag. It's actually a keychain. So, um, anyone love Lan Lando and want him on their keychain? Let me know. Um, yeah. All right, so the big item in here is... It's a movie moment. It's above. It's called Bubba Gets His Bounty. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Man, it's really in there. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's really really in there. That may take a moment. Okay. Let me see if I can get that out without tearing this box apart. Okay. You know what? We're going to take a moment, I'm going to get this out, and I will be right back. Alright guys, we're back to uh, our mail call. So anyway, I was having a huge time, hard, huge, huge problem getting this out of that box. It was just jam-packed in there, and uh, uh, unfortunately, I, like, I try to keep those boxes intact because they're really cool to keep excess um, trinkets and stuff in when I'm collecting. But unfortunately, that box met its demise in order to get this out. So, of course, we covered the uh, Mystery Mini and the Lando keychain. But here is the Bubba Gets His Bounty movie moments. I love this. I, the second I heard this was coming out, I love that back card. You can see uh, Vader up on the stairs, Han and Carbonite, and of course, Bubba Fett, our favorite bounty hunter. This is a great piece. I really, you know, I mean, it's only three items. Like I said, we've kind of got spoiled and I just wasn't really on the fence. Um, I'm not subscribing anymore to Smuggler's Bounty, but I did appreciate getting the email from Amazon that these were available to purchase. And um, I don't mind doing that when I really like a box to be able to go back and purchase just that box. Um, it's really cool. Um, I would actually like to subscribe again. Um, it's just the inconsistencies and the ups and downs that come with real good boxes, real bad boxes. I just don't want to deal with it. I'd rather just... And um, Star Wars, I love it to death, but I'm sure as most pop collectors out there will tell you, um, the line is so big. There's so much Star Wars. It's almost impossible to keep up with. So um, I stopped collecting in continuity form um, all the series and sets. I'm just buying what I really want to have, what I really love. This is being one of those items. I was, like I said, I was on the fence and finally I broke down. I was like, no, I'm going to get it. And uh, I'm happy with it. I, I like these two things, actually. I, I um, have a whole bunch of mystery minis that I've never opened and I never will. The collector of me won't allow me to but I do have them stacking up and I actually dig them. They're kind of cool. And I am, my trinkets are never ending. I think I'm gonna do a show specifically aimed at the trinkets. The people like them the, and the trinkets are being pens, notepads, journals, keychains, luggage tags. Um, we can go on and on, um, but that would be kind of fun. I also have a ton of shirts, and I'm thinking about doing a show strictly on uh, kind of like a um, an accompany episode of just the shirts if anyone's interested in them. Um, if that's something you would like to see, if you're interested in any of the pop shirts, that um, I have a bunch. Um, I could do an entire show on those and try to uh, sell them on the show if anyone's interested. Of course, every... Uh, shirt I have is extra large unfortunately, but they're all brand new. They've never been opened still in bag If that's something you're interested in if that's maybe a little episode I can do I can spend maybe five minutes to a short little episode and put it out there uh, Let me know in the comments down below and I will do a supplement episode Strictly on my pop shirts and I will put them up for sale and that's all of them I have no interest in keeping them. I have too many t-shirts, so 
it's it. So anyway, um, I have, oh, you know what? I do have one more item on my nail call. I don't know why I forgot, but it was sitting right there. Standing. So I ordered uh, an item online from Walgreens. I've never received um, anything from Walgreens in the mail before. So uh, I'm gonna cross my fingers that we're good here. Uh, the package itself is extremely sound. Um, not a dent, nothing. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. I, I know exactly what's in here. This is um, their um, shared exclusive for the uh, Star Wars Galactic Convention. And their exclusive is the um, Darth Maul. And so let's see, we got our little packing slip here. Man, you want to talk about packing it close to the bones here, but oh, let's see what we got. All right, we look in good shape. I don't see any dents. Like I said, this is my first time receiving an item from Walgreens in the mail, but uh, he looks fantastic. All right, here we go. So this is our uh, 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive from Walgreens. We have Darth Maul and his hood. That is a sharp... And I just said about Star Wars because there's so many. I'm only going to buy the ones I really want to have. And this is easily one that I would be happy to have in my collection. He's a cool figure. Uh, so here, as you can tell, he's in awesome shape. So yeah, Darth Maul. So, all right, now that will complete the mail call this week. And next up, we're going to have a mystery box, and hopefully we'll luck out. Uh, Miss Taylor will be helping me with that today. And uh, yeah, and this is going to not essentially determine how many mystery boxes I buy in the future, but this will probably be the last one I buy for a while, just because... I keep on getting a lot of repeats, and I mean, that's the gamble you take. I get it. I'm a big boy, um, but I think the next mystery boxes that we will do will be the ones I get from Popcorn and Flicks, and um, go ahead and I will uh, also uh, attach their uh, channel down below. Uh, they're awesome. They're a fun couple to watch. Go on there, and matter of fact, I think um, they're still selling. I mean, they're getting close. They're good. They're going to be out here pretty quick. Uh, is, they really stepped up their approach to moving their mystery boxes. This is a one-time deal. Once they're all gone, that's it. I mean, they had a ton of them, don't get me wrong, but they are moving them through waffles now that they're doing, whereas on their channel they call their waffles flixes. You can go on there and take a shot at getting one at almost, uh, or just practically wholesale uh, pricing. Um, but I do have two boxes coming from them here in the near future. And depending on the results of this mystery box, I may, like I said, I may be staying away from the mystery boxes for a little while. But anyway, we'll be back with the mystery box and we'll see you in a couple minutes. Thanks. back with Guess That Pop with my co-host. Taylor. Yep. And she's back. She wasn't here for the rest of the videos, but she was downstairs playing with her Easter basket and everything else that came from the Easter Bunny. She had a good morning, didn't you? Yes, I did. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get right to it. So we got a mystery box. Let's go ahead and get that up here. And we are switching roles this week. Taylor is going to be guessing and I'm going to be giving the hints. And from the sounds of this, it sounds like it's like a box in a box, which yeah. we always like. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And as I told you earlier, I had a really good week at uh, Walmart. Got a lot of cool deals. And uh, with, oh, yep, it is a box in a box. Ta-da! And you are making weird faces. It's called Too Much Sugar. Yeah, I have a, I have like. Three, no, four peeps, um, like a, all of my Sour Patch Kid bunnies. I just had a bunch of candy. And I just said candy. Yeah, she did. Candy. And peeps are yucky. Anyway. They're delicious. He says they're the devil's candy. They're delicious. Peeps are awful. 
Okay, so we have our mystery box here, Taylor's guessing. So Taylor, you're going to turn around, and I'm going to show you Taylor's little grab bag this week. It's a grab um, bag? Kind of, yeah. No, wait, stop. Don't show me. Okay, not a grab bag. Remember, we're not grabbing things out of it. Okay. It's a goodie bag. It's a goodie bag. Okay, goodie bag. <laughs> so anyway. I Tip ended, of the day. Yes, and I ended up finding a few extra items on my little hunt this past week, and I ended up getting a great deal on so they're part of her goodie bag. So we have this. Really fun. Followed by this. It's actually a pretty good goodie bag this week. But um, the deals I got were pretty good this week too. So, you know, more the merrier. And we have this right here. Yes. I so, want to know. Of Give course. Me a clue about it. She wants a clue. <laughs> she wants a clue. Not gonna happen. No, so anyway. <laughs> okay, so you know, <clears throat> you know the rules of our guess that pop. Um, Taylor will get her goodie bag if she gets any one right out of the six. And uh, with this one, I believe I do. I'm gonna. I'm guaranteed a chase, and that's it. So it's most likely gonna be one chase, five commons. And this came from uh, Plastic Empire, so out there in, uh, I want to say Texas, I believe. No, 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 Georgia, Georgia, I'm sorry. Plastic Empire in Georgia. So here we go. Of course, as you've all learned, when I'm the one giving the hints, I'm usually a little better at it than Taylor is. But Not anyway. true. <laughs> okay, so our first one... Okay, I actually ended up getting this a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm, not, I'm not upset about getting a second one. There'll probably be an easy one I can move. Okay, so this is a DC Heroes. Okay. Um, like Harley Quinn. Okay. Can I guess now? You can guess now. Batman Harley Quinn. Batman Harley Quinn it is. All right. Yep. Ding, 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 ding. Don't look over here. Look over there. I know. I'm, sh I'm looking at okay. that. Mm -hmm. That's your problem. So I actually got this a couple weeks ago. And matter of fact, when I did get it a couple weeks ago, I wasn't sure if I had it. I actually did not. I did have the, uh, <clears throat> the Batgirl imposter, not the Batman imposter. But now I have two Batman imposters. So if anyone's interested, let me know. All right, so my second one is, okay, this is my second one in two weeks. Um, last week, I didn't, I actually looked at my collection. I had the first version from the first movie, not the second one, but now I have two of them. So this is from Star Wars. Okay. It's um, kind of like a stormtrooper. Okay, wait, give me like a clue from last week. Um, it's not exactly... A stormtrooper, but it's like a different color stormtrooper. Is it that um, gray silver stormtrooper? Yep. That I do not know the name of. Well, you could cheat and look right behind you, right there up top, right next to. Oh, Argy. Captain Phasma. Captain Phasma, it is. And yep. That old Captain Phasma. So Taylor's walking away with a lot. So that's two. So this kind of solidifies my decision about mystery boxes here in the future. Um, I'm probably going to wait and explore other avenues. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to definitely explain, uh, explore other avenues because this third one, I got this a couple weeks ago too. And uh, it's it's from a video game. Okay. It's a troll. Oh, is it the uh, fire troll? Fire troll it is. So... I have all three of these. I now have doubles. And this mystery box has become no fun at all. Matter of fact, at all. This entire box is a repeat. Okay. All the way down to... Alright, so... Get, wait. Since you already have these, do you have, like, a clue about them? Mm -hmm. If they've been from last week or like oh that. So well, like, this one's what? from last week and the week before. Okay. So it's like Star so, Wars. Wait, so after service, so yeah. Um, give like a clue about 
like if you like like something that you like about her or something that you don't like about her or something that you said about her or something I like don't that. like anything about this. I want to throw it in the Is backyard. Is it the red with, yep, Star Wars yep, trooper thingy, my bobber? Yep. I want to throw it in the backyard and let the dogs play with it. That's what you so said. So I, now I have three of these. Ooh. Now this fifth one here, I haven't received it in the mystery box, but I do already own it. But, oh, actually, you know what? I don't own this one. I, I lied. Okay, so, Taylor, you're not really going to guess this one. Um, okay, I have four. But you have more than one. one. This is a, it is a stormtrooper. Okay. It's from the last movie, The Last Jedi. Um, Never watched it. It's the First Order snow, snow Trooper. I didn't buy him when he came out, but he's in fantastic shape. And Medic, all of these are in fantastic shape. I just, I have them all. And uh, the sixth one, this will now be my third one. I didn't mind, oh wait. No, I don't have this one. Okay, so this is cool. So this one actually is, well, I do have it, but I have the two, I have the exclusive. This one here is the limited edition Chase Ooh. from Entertainment Earth. So it's a girl. Okay. Um, I wasn't upset with the last two I got. Okay. Um, it's animation. Okay. That's all I'm going to give you. Betty Boop with her dog? It is Betty Boop with Budgie. But like my last two are here, I got, they were exclusive to black and whites. This is the full color with the red dress, and this is the Chase from Entertainment Earth. So I'm really happy with that. Um, that's awesome. So that's great. Um, I really like this Betty Boop line. I, I want to get the uh, Betty Boop in the Devil outfit. Shocker. And the Angel. There's a whole line that's coming out, but this is the Chase. And, uh, yeah, so I really dig it. All okay. right, so uh, that was Guess This Pop. So Taylor is going to get her. Oh, I'm so excited to see it! What's funny about this box, it was a complete bust for me, only in the fact that I have every single one. But the condition of these pops is phenomenal. They are not, they are flawless. I mean, this, every single one of these would be a 10, would be a 10 out of 10. I mean, they, they, these are better than the ones that I got a couple weeks ago. Look at look how awesome he is. Yeah. So, maybe, uh, yeah, so, what are you doing? Hi. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so Taylor's obviously ready for her goodie bag. Yes, I am. So, here's your goodie bag. Enjoy. Awesome! It's a super posable Mr. Mr. Incredible from Mr. Incredible 2. Oh. Of course, I've already shown you these. <laughs> it's elastic girl with an, in, and it includes a stretch arm. Yeah, so she has an extra arm that you can do her little stretch Awesome! Body. It's... Okay, I knew that was coming, but she's big into Hot Wheels right now. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and this is the Incredibles car. And I saw that and I thought of you right away because your love for... That's her big thing Wait, right now. Is so, if you have children, Whoops. this says three ages three and up. This does not say, and neither does that. But if you guys want this or... Hot wheels or anything like that, these are ages three and up. All right, so that is your... Seriously! You're lucky I'm not a collector and I, and I just take them out of the box. It's true. So we lost that one. All right, so that is uh, Guess That Pop this week. Uh, we we'll definitely won't have a mystery box next week. I'm going to stay away from that for a while and... Uh, we will do something together a little bit different. Um, I'm kind of done with the repeats and uh, can't really complain about the price I paid for those box. You get what you pay for it, but um, obviously these, um, and I've gone to three different companies and they, they must be just oversaturated with uh, these repeat pops or maybe they're all in cahoots and they're, it, you know, it's one company, just three different labels. I don't know. 
I get them through Amazon and they're usually anywhere from about $36 up to $42 depending on the week. It just changes every week, every Monday the price changes depending I guess maybe on quantity they have on hand to uh, move. But anyway, so that is I guess that pop this week. Did you like your, gr not grab bag, but your goodie bag? Yeah, but I want to share something with you. If you want Beast, you can get, like, so you can get Frozone, Violet, Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl. If you want Dash or Jack Jack, you have to get them together because it says, if you guys can see that right. Oh, it's a two pack. Yeah, okay. so there's cool. a two pack. And same for that one. And for here, um, there's the Incredible Car, Police Car, Boosted Incredible Car, and Under Minor Tunnel. Tunnel, yeah. Car. All right. So maybe we'll go looking for those next and see oh. if I can find deals on those too. But anyway, thanks for watching uh, Guess That Pop this week, and uh, we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. And uh, welcome back to my last segment of this episode 16 after finishing up with our uh, Guess That Pop. That will definitely be our last one for a while. And even uh, when I do decide to uh, um, do mystery boxes, well, uh, there is a couple coming in. We're not going to do a Guess That Pop with that just because uh, that's more for me. It's uh, Hopefully some cool grails here or just luck of the draw with my uh, popcorn with flicks boxes that I have coming But this little thing I want to talk about I'm hopefully maybe uh, if you remember a couple weeks ago where uh, I Received this iron spider chrome. It was damaged um, From Hot Topic. I couldn't get them to uh, take it back etc. I'm over that uh, situation with that um, but I decided to get creative and try to salvage that pop. I ended up finding him down the road, got him on offer up uh, for $8, and the individual who sold him to me threw in an Ant-Man chrome uh, for free. So I ended up getting both those figures for $8. So I came out ahead there, and I just got crafty with this um, by taking a soft protector and the um, insert for that, and I showed you this uh, a couple weeks ago, was completely intact. It was not harmed, but the box was completely destroyed. So I found a way to reuse it to where I can do a nice display with it in the soft pack, put the insert in, and I ended up cutting out the back of the box that was salvageable. And um, what was really cool is it had this chrome gold chrome insert in the back so I went ahead and reused that and uh, so this is kind of a cool way to do that. Well I ended up doing that with two more pops that I received from Hot Topic previous to that. Of course the outcome with that was a lot better. I ended up getting my pops replaced and the customer service was phenomenal during that time but I ended up getting uh, two pops. I ended up getting this uh, weight Wayne from Wayne's World. He, uh, his box was completely destroyed, um, completely kicked in, but the insert was fine. And I ended up doing something very similar like I did with the Iron Spider. I have Wayne here in a soft protector. I cut out the front of his display box because that was the only thing that was salvageable. And I inserted it, but here he is on display, clear all the way around. This is fun. A cool way to display them. And that's Wayne there. And then I had a Austin Powers that I bought from them. It came in the same ship and it was completely destroyed as well. The box was not as bad, but definitely not up to my standards, uh, especially for display. I actually, with this here, I cut out the entire side. Um, the insert was fine, put that in the soft protector, and I was able to salvage the outside, the side, the top panel was in okay shape. This actually has a lot of the ruffles from the initial kicked inside, um, but I kind of just kind of flattened it out with, uh, took a roller, like a pin roller that you use in the kitchen, and I literally flattened that out and uh, made it uh, displayable. And uh, this is, a, to me, I, I really like this avenue. If you have any, 
that you want to, uh, if you know, that you're not able to sell, that you want to salvage, and you still want to display. Um, I ended up getting a new uh, Austin Powers and a new Wayne from Hot Topic. They replaced them. That was awesome. Um, but I ended up being stuck with the damaged ones, um, regardless. And so, this is a. Um, just an idea of a good way to, uh, you know, if you want to keep your pops in good shape and still hold on to them in a cool way to display. Um, these uh, soft protectors are excellent ways to uh, do that. But anyway, this is uh, my little save your pop segment that I've been working on. And I have a few of them now that I want to do this to. And I've been going through my collection. I've been finding ones from back when I first started collecting pops back in uh, 2016 that I'm surprised made it through my very rigorous, um, you know, approval rating to get into my collection. Some of them kind of passed through, you know, I don't know if I had too many beers or something. It was like, yeah, I'll keep it, but uh, they're going to probably have to go, they're probably going to have to go through this type of transformation to save them. But, you know, you're not just going to throw away a pop from a perfectly damaged box, uh, perfectly damaged box, that doesn't sound right, but you get my drift. So uh, finding ways to salvage them or put them on display out of their boxes, um, in either shadow boxes or just on shelves out in the open, I can't really do that, I, I, I have not, I mean I have a few that are like that, but they're uh, going to shortly go through this type of um, remake or uh, revamp. Um, I also found uh, there are soft pop protectors that you can buy on Amazon and eBay that come just like this, but they now have a stand that you can put on the inside where you can stand your pop on. I'm not really sure how those work. I think I'm going to take a stab at buying a set of those and giving. I have enough loose pops to where I have a five or six loose ones that I had that are just literally lying. In fact, there's a couple behind me as you can see. I've got. Um, Star Lord, and then I have um, Georgie. Funny story behind that, Georgie. I, I bought a uh, mystery box, a uh, single pop mystery box off eBay this week, and it was a complete bust. I, it was 12 bucks. It ended up being a um, Flash, Flash number 10, I believe. Yeah, Flash number 10. I already had them. Uh, the pop was in uh, probably about an eight condition, not bad. Um, but it was just in the box, and when I was throwing the box out, it, um, it had a bunch of popcorn and newspaper in it. This Georgie was literally inside the box. No explanation at all. There was no, hey, you're going to get an extra pop or anything like that. He was just in the box. I was dumping the box out to get the popcorn into I was just dumping it into a recycle bin, and he come flailing out. So now I have three of these guys. I have two regular Georgies, I have a Chase, and I have just a loose one sitting around. So, I don't know what to do with that, but uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. I was like, what just fell out of that box? Georgie. So um, yeah, the, the boxes that I'm talking about, they're literally a soft protector just like this, but they have a, what looks to be either a gray or silver base that you put at the bottom that's designed to put your pop on and display in the soft pack. Um, I'm thinking about ordering a set of those next week and maybe on next week's episode I can uh, demonstrate that and see how that looks and see what you guys think. But anyway, thanks for watching my little uh, salvage your pop segment and uh, we'll see you next week guys. Bye.